Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today we talk about Beyond Meat after the amazing day it had yesterday and a bit of a squ short squeeze going on. Uh, we're going to be talking everything Beyond Meat because it is one of my biggest positions. Uh, so we're going to be talking about that one because it is a fantastic move. And sorry there was no video yesterday, um, it was just a busy day with work. I literally left the house at like half seven in the morning and I was literally back in at like ten o'clock at night and it was like, you know, there's just no point. I, I can't squeeze the video in anywhere. So yeah, a little bit of a day off yesterday but back on the video today talking about this Beyond Meat jump and also... Um, the 10x uh, return video that won the poll i'll do that one on saturday or tomorrow uh, for you guys so uh, yeah it will come your way so don't worry too much it will happen and um, also something happened with this stock in my portfolio today and um, i'll kind of reveal half a secret toward the towards the end but you'll have to wait for that and just a little shout out to Planet 13. They've just come out with earnings and the earnings were fantastic. They actually uh, put a little bit of a profit in here. Um, and as well as that, check this out, 41% year over year growth. And that's still in, you know, we've got a little bit of CV still playing on there. And it's still putting in 41% year over year growth um, and profitability. And, you know, when we think about when the relaxation happens a little bit, when the other venues open up for Planet 13, oh, wow, it's just really good. So we'll see how that opens up, but it's just... Planet 13's got a bit more of a high evaluation at the moment, but we'll see We'll see where that one goes, just shout out. One little thing I've got to say as well, before I actually get onto the Beyond Meat, let me just click on this. Um, up one year today, 420. You just couldn't make this stuff up. Anyway, um, if you do want to win and buy and sell companies like Beyond Meat, like Planet 13, uh, then the link to my Patreon is in the description. You join through there, you get to see when I'm buying and selling. There's private live streams on there. Um, on the weekend, I'm, we're going to be doing a class on uh, when to sell a stock and as well as lo loads of other stuff on there. Um, and if you do want to start investing, there's some links to some brokers in the description as well. But anyway, we'll get on to the title of this video, which is Beyond Me. And um, yeah, I think Beyond Me is uh, my second biggest position. Um, DraftKings, Beyond Me, and then Tattoo Chef. And um, yeah, just over the last kind of couple of weeks, just been on a really good run. I mean, if you got down here, this is really good. Um, but yeah, I think I went from being actually down on my position by like 17%. And now I'm actually up on my position by 17%. And that's just the ability to, you know, buy into great companies, average in, you know, be confident, know your company in and out. I've always been saying on this channel, you know, this is a great company. It will come back. The food service will come back. Um, this stock will be higher than where it is uh, when, I, when I started buying it by the end of the year and even more as factories open up and everything like that. And uh, Rob, the intelligent investor, probably is going to owe me £500 by the end of the year, which I do accept PayPal and bank transfer, just saying that there. Um, but yeah, I've always said that this is just so beaten down, such a short stock. And um, yeah, I, I'm still very confident this is, in my opinion, should be a $200 stock. And you know, even two, three years down the line, I can see it even going higher than that. But it had a really good day yesterday, uh, yesterday um, up 12%. And uh, you can see here, after hours, a little bit of a jump even going on here as well, uh, 149. So we'll see where that one goes uh, in the next coming few hours. Anyway, um, so yeah, a really fantastic day. Now, the news that kind of came with it, there was two stories, um, which was this one. This was the first news that came out, which was basically Beyond Meat Higher as test in China progress. Uh, expands its uh, collaboration with KFC in China introduce a plant-based spicy beef wrap menu item and um, for me this isn't like you know this wasn't game-changing news like we knew that you know beyond me kfc yum brands they've got a lot of partnerships going on and the people the thing is as well is like a lot of us people that are from like you know the uk and um the us we we underestimate how much growth potential beyond meat is going to have in china it is huge it's probably the biggest part of the company coming up and the growth in China is going to be absolutely huge. And that's why they've had to put so much money into like building a lot of factories over there as well. And uh, that's really going to show the benefit in 2022. Um, but yeah, um, this was the first bit of news. As you see, this is what actually sent it up 6.1%. But I think this is probably the main reason why this stock's kind of getting a little bit more interest right now. And uh, there's been a lot of interest that Beyond Meat is kind of getting targeted by Reddit. Um, so obviously you guys probably know Wall Street bets, you know, the, sh the short squeezes of GameStop, the short squeeze of uh, AMC. I'm sure you've seen the jump in AMC. I wonder if I can just click on this and you can see it very quickly. But yeah, the, it's just an absolute crazy jump the last few days. But it does seem like they're actually um, coming for Beyond Meat right now. Um, 
and yeah, there was a lot of stuff out saying that, um, I think there was something about CNBC, I think Kramer had something to talk about it, I can't remember what Kramer said, um, but yeah, they're, they're saying that, you know, he's getting linked with Reddit, and obviously we've seen what they do with heavily shorted stocks with uh, AMC and um, also uh, GameStop. Now, just to put into, like, context of, like, how shorted Beyond Meat actually is, if we actually go into the short interest of Beyond Meat, you can see here the massive jump up in the amount of shares that have been shorted. But if you look here, you can see a short percentage of flow, 25%. That is huge. I actually don't think I've ever seen a company that high before. Um, just put that into like a comparer company like Microsoft, 0.55%. And I think I even checked like Tesla. Tesla was like 4% and I think even like GameStop was like 20%, so uh, yeah, I think that was a little bit high until all this like Wall Street bets kind of happened. Um, but yeah, that is, you know, that's incredibly high. And when you kind of get to a point where a company is like over 10%, literally like these can be like, these short squeezes on these stocks can be insane. And I think that's what we kind of have going on at the moment, is we have a bit of a short squeeze going on. Like I think this company was, like naturally undervalued but as well as that it's been a rough time for beyond meat shareholders you know if you've been investing in beyond meat you know how rough it's been uh the last kind of two three months but this company's turning it around but there's a lot of haters on beyond meat uh you, you know wherever you go on yahoo finance when i make a video on beyond meat um the, the one of my most disliked videos is on beyond meat um and when i'm going to talk about that that stock and um yeah, it's it's definitely a beating down company, and with that, it also attracts a lot of short sellers. You can see the amount of short sellers on here. So it does seem like realistically, this jump in share price isn't because the company is actually performing that well, because we haven't had any fine apart from the the earnings that came out and went. Look, we're actually turning the corner a little bit on the food service business. We had that update, but we haven't actually seen any like concrete financials come out yet to say it's like turning the corner. We'll have to wait until uh, Q2 in. Uh, two months time and we might get some information there maybe, maybe it's actually three months time to that but it does seem like for me a lot of this jump in the beyond meat share price at the moment is to do with this short squeeze so with that in mind i'm going to let i'm let, going to let you in a half a secret here and uh, maybe even three quarters of a secret normally you have to be on patreon to kind of know this sort of stuff when i'm buying and selling companies like you guys on patreon knew how much I was buying Beyond Meat heavy and heavy and I was just getting my average down and down and I've kind of, you know, if you're a Beyond Meat shareholder and you've been averaging down, congrats because you probably have the rewards absolutely huge right now. But I'm gonna let you into a little bit of a secret. Um, I actually did uh, trim my Beyond Meat position a little bit today and considering how much this got, this, what I always say is like when we when we get a, a bit of an unnatural jump, you know, like 40% in two weeks, that's quite an unnatural jump. And I always think, you know, I always try and do the opposite to what the market's doing. So if something, you know, absolutely slumps out of nowhere, I'm buying it. If it's shooting up for no reason, I'm kind of thinking, okay, is this time to sell it? And I did trim my position a little bit into Beyond Me. I still, I still am very bullish on the company. I still think it'll be a $200 company easy, probably even more than that, even further down the line. So, but just because I bought so heavy, uh, and averaged in my position size was quite heavy to like the rest of my portfolio and because my cash pile also went very low down in the last month like my cash pile went from like going into 2021 at like 30 percent cash i was like nearly touching five percent and i was like okay we need to get this cash pile back up to like 10 or 15 percent at least so i was also thinking rebalance the portfolio we've had a crazy jump um made a little bit of profit on it and um, i took a, a little bit of a good gain on this company as well rebalance the portfolio get some cash in and it just all worked out fine but i've still got plenty of shares that are going to go the long distance so i thought i'd let you into that little secret if you do want to know exactly the uh the amount that i did sell and um, i'm going to leave that to patreon only because uh that's the whole point of it really but a little bit of a half a secret reveal there um, did make some nice little money on the Beyond Meat position, but yeah, um, just thought I'd let you know on that one. I think think you know it's worth making a video about this company um, after the amazing jump that it had, the little short squeeze that's happening. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, if you could smash the like button, if you're new, subscribe. And like I said, tomorrow I'll do that. Yeah, the, uh, the 10x return potential stocks and talk about that one. Um, but if there's any other videos, let me know in the comments. We'll see how Beyond Meat goes on Friday uh, when the stock market opens up. 
But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next video.